Hi everyone, this is Zach. In this video lecture, I'll be giving you an introduction to logistic regression. So we've learned about linear regression, which is great. And it basically allows us to predict the value of a continuous response variable. However, in the real world, things are not that simple. Not all variables are continuous. Basically, there are two types of variables, continuous variables and categorical variables. Continuous variables measure the amount or the number of something, whereas categorical variables basically have a finite set of possible values that they can take. There's a special subclass of variables called binary categorical variables, where there are only two possible values of yes or no, true or false. Let's take a look at a few examples. If we want to estimate, if you, for example, keep track of how many toilet paper rolls were sold by a supermarket as people scrambled to hoard toilet paper to make sure they could continue to wipe their butts during the coronavirus crisis, uh, this is basically a continuous variable or if you keep track of the price at which a house was sold, that's also a continuous variable. On the other hand, if you look at which Disney character are you, they are basically a finite number of Disney characters, maybe, I don't know, 500 or 1,000. So that's a categorical variable. And for these last two examples, is this a picture of a cat? It's basically yes or no, or when the Milwaukee Bucks plays against the LA Lakers in what might be the NBA Finals, either the Milwaukee Bucks will win that game or the LA Lakers will win that game. So the result is kind of a win or lose. It's a binary uh, result. So just to summarize, linear regression allows you to predict the value of a continuous variable whereas logistic regression is useful when you're trying to predict the value of a binary categorical variable. So make sure you have the right tool for the job. Don't use a hammer uh, when you what you have aren't nails, but some sort of screwing thing, whatever. You know, I'm not an expert in that, unfortunately. But this is definitely not the right tool for this job. All right, so when we are doing logistic regression, we model the binary response variable y as 1 if the events occurred, or 0 if the events did not occur. Now you might be thinking, if the outcome variable y is 0 or 1, why can't we just use linear regression? That's a great question, Batman. To the Batcave! All right, let's look, take a look at a very simple artificial quiz data set where the dependent variable is whether the student passed or failed the quiz. And we'll use the uh, number of hours that the student studied to predict whether the student will pass or fail. And here's the quiz data set. Generally, the more students study, the more hours that a student spent studying, the more likely the student is to pass. Although maybe this, this student who studied seven hours but still failed is a bit unlucky. Anyhow, you can fit a straight line to this data like so. However, this is not really a good idea. That's because a probability is by definition a number between zero and one. And you notice right here and right here, the probabilities are bigger than one which doesn't make sense, or less than zero, which doesn't make sense too. Instead of trying to fit a straight line, a better idea is to fit an S-shaped curve to the data. So as study hours increases, the probability, estimated probability of passing also increases. And the goal is to have higher estimated probabilities for observations where the student passed, and low estimated probabilities for observations where the student failed. And, you know, of course, this is not perfect. Sometimes low probability events do happen or high probability events don't happen. 
but you know, fit the best curve that we can to the data. And here's another example uh, of a where there are two dimensions. So we might want to predict whether a patient has diabetes. And uh, here we're looking at the blood glucose level as well as the BMI, which is a measure of how fat the, the person the patient is. And the red dots denote people with diabetes, represent people with diabetes, and the blue dots represent people without diabetes. What you generally see is that as people are further away from this, the black line in this direction, they are more likely to have diabetes, and as they are further away from the black line in the opposite direction, they are less likely to have diabetes. So this is some, somewhat similar to the kind of S-curve, but it's uh, in a more dimensions. Okay, so that's now we've gotten to the end. What are the key takeaways from today? The goal of logistic regression is to predict the value of a binary response variable, which is basically whether an event occurred or not. And logistic regression works by fitting an S-shaped curve to the data with high probabilities when the event occurred and low probabilities when the event did not occur. All right, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye.